Are you a user of Debian? Do you use a VPN? Is that a VPN Surfshark or could it become Surfshark in the future? Well, if it is, in this video, a video I'm going to show you how to install Surfshark VPN on a Debian based system. But first, I would like to excuse my hic hiccups. I can't get rid of them. <laughs> I'm sorry. So once you're logged into Surfshark uh, VP VPN at surfshark.com, uh, you'll be brought to this screen where you can go through the various options that are available once you've signed up for an account and paid for your membership. So to install Surfshark, you want to go to apps and extensions, which I've already done here. And it gives you the various software packages that are available for the various operating systems and uses, as well as the smart televisions and mobile platforms. Now, what this is doing here is it's it's recommending the Surfshark VPN or Surfshark plugin for Firefox because it recognizes the well, the Surfshark website recognizes that we are using the Firefox Fox user agent, and it's going, "Hey, look, install the plugin." In this case, I'm not going to install the plugin. I'm going to install a software package. So, first thing that we want to do, want to do is click download here. Click this to open this up. Select install package. I said install package. Okay, maybe not. So instead, we're just going to come over here and we want to do sudo dpkg hyphen i and select our dev package, Surfshark. And as we can see, it is now done, so what we want to do is we want to do sudo at update. And for good measure, we'll do an upgrade at the same time. So sudo apt upgrade. It should list one available update. And then we should need to do, as we can see here, the Surfshark uh, repository is now available. Available on the list. We want to do sudo apt install Surfshark. Select so like yes. Um, the funny number is available for the package size, and it's going to take up a total of 249 megabytes worth of disk space. So, if you've reached this point, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching, and also maybe consider subscribing and sharing this with your friends. So, now that that is installed, I'm going to go into the Surfshark app on my mobile phone and prepare the login so we want to open up Surfshark on our computer and this is I say this is what it's going to look like once it loads. there we go so this is what it will look like upon installing it for the first time so what we want to do is we want we are going to log in with a code so to do that we're going to click login with a code. And we're going to go. Pardon my hiccups again. Sorry. We're going to go account. We're going to go enter login code. And we're going to do 6QHJGP. Click login. This is now registered with logging in. This will catch up. And as we can see here, we have a logged in Surfshark VPN. Now, if we look at how long that took us, that took us all of four minutes to do, and we can select a country to uh, log it, select as a VPN. So in my case, I'm just going to pick out Brisbane as an example. We're going to connect, and it says we are connected in Brisbane. So to test that out, I'm going to bring my browser back, and I'm going to go ping.eu. This is just a general network uh, network tool site that I've been using for years. I came across it by accident one day. And I confirm right, right away that this is not my public IP address. And we can do country by IP. Give it a click, give it a search. And as we can see here, Australia. But if we look here, my location is the United States. So this is doing its job. Oh, I am sorry for the hiccups. Uh, this is doing its job as intended. 
and that is how easy it is to install Surfshark. So we can also go through the various available st static IP servers, which then gives us the options of choosing where we want to connect to that have a static IP. We can go through multi-hop, so say I want to connect to Singapore through Germany. We can do that. As we can see here, this this is in real time, and my hiccups are killing me. This will this may take a couple of attempts. If it doesn't doesn't work, that's fine. And whilst that does, we can have a look at the settings. Connection error, yeah, that's fine. That, that was expected. So there's also the ability to have a dark mode, which I very much prefer. And we can choose language. In my case, I'm using I'm English, so I'm going to be keeping English. English. We can check the app version. Couldn't check proc dates, but if we look here, I said if we look. Well, yeah, we currently have the latest version installed anyway, because that's the latest version we downloaded. But this is the this is the functional settings. Everything's working fine. If you need help, you can go here to go through the help settings. <coughs> Sorry about that. And then this, this this little circle here is also the traffic and throughput and the usage of it at any one time. So let's just select Greenland and say, okay, Greenland, please. If it can't connect, it'll just say, hey, look, I've got an error. That's fine. And just choose a different location. In this case, in this case, it's not working for India. We'll just go for Japan. Give it a couple seconds but this doesn't mess you around if it can't connect to you it can't connect to you it just says hey look i'm having issues and just sorts itself out but this does work as we can see here yeah um, so i'm sure i just having an off moment for my system which is entirely fine but i'd like to <laughs> oh pardon me i would like to thank you very much for watching um uh, if you made it this far, maybe consider subscri subscribing <laughs> Oh lord, and sharing with your friends anyway. I'd like to thank you very much for watching. I have been Nick, you have been amazing. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Goodbye.